Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey. I'm Dan Cooper. And this is day three, oh my God, day Jesus. three, of the 2018 Winter Nam Show here in sunny Anaheim, California. We think it's sunny, I haven't been outside all day. But no, 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 but it's nice inside. It's nice inside. Our voices have gone a little bit more since uh, yesterday's video, but that's fine because we've got another three find of the days each. Jane, what's your first? My first one uh, is actually over there on the, uh, we must say thank you to the guys at PMC and RSPE Audio for hosting us on their booth because quite frankly, uh, the carpet is squishy and well, that's nice. enough for me. Yeah. Um, this one's amazing. Go on. Trust me, this, there are, once again, I've gone, go hard or go home. <laughs> Requisite Audio L7 microphone. This thing. Oh, you told me about this earlier. It's beautiful. Oh, it's just over there. It is an, Thing of absolute beauty. Uh, there is five valves in the microphone. The thing is, this tall, it is just ridiculous. Well, it's not ridiculous. That's it's not the beautiful. most ridiculous thing about it. No. You get into that. It's the seven valves that are in the power supply. It is a uh, line level microphone. There is no mic pre necessary to run it straight into your interface. It's and, a line and, level microphone. And that's still not the most ridiculous thing about it. It's 18,000. Yeah. But, but I, li I listened to it and went, wow. But hey, we do these things. Um, what, yeah. is it, what is it? It sounds science abuse. We do these things so you don't have to. Yeah. Um, check it out. We'll put the link down there in the notes. Dan. Right. My first of the day is a Blue Cat Audio Axiom. It's very nice. It's very nice. It's very nice. Um, it's no secret. I love the uh, Destructor by Blue Cat Audio, the distortion plugin. That was kind of a guitar amp plug-in, or at least you know, it looked like it in design, but it was missing effects. It was missing kind of the things we uh, expect from guitar amp plugins. Now, they've done it. It's absolutely brilliant. You can have two amps running at the same time within it, pan them left and right, or mix between them. Loads of effects in it. It feels fantastic to play, uh, play through, and doesn't cost the earth. Uh, actually, to be honest, pricing's to be confirmed, I think. Um, but I'd buy it anyway. It's, it's based around Destructor, though, isn't it? It's, it's, it is. The engine yeah, it's got, with it's got the distortion engine of, of Destructor, but without the, the in-depthness of Destructor, which is good for us mere mortals that play guitar, because we don't want to get too nitty and gritty with it. Um, but the effects sound great. It's got a tuner in it, all the things that we expect. And, yeah, review to follow. I think it's going to come out in the next month or two, something like yep. that. But yes, James, what's your seconds? My second one is available now, and it is the significantly less money uh, plugin from Waves. This is the Waves Andrew Sheps Omni Channel. Let me stop you right there, because that's my second one as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We're going to talk about this one. <laughs> it's very, very awesome. Yes. Um, I, I've just watched the Andrew Shep's demo of this thing yeah, and the whole the, well. the Q&A. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's hilarious is actually last night, I went online it. and bought <laughs> it last night uh, for, for 49 bucks. Yeah. 49 bucks. Um, I loved on. the Andrew Shep's Parallel Particles. One. That's nice. Uh, which again is kind of like four processes with four very simple controls of four very complex processes. Yeah. The um, Omnichannel, dives in quite significantly deeper. Yeah. There's loads of presets to start with, and we, whether oh, you, you love presets the or not, as well. yeah, yeah. whether you love presets or not, they're there to get you going. Yeah. But it's tweakable, it's it's as high level or as deep as you want it to be. EQ, dynamics, DSR, uh, gate, you can move it all about, you've got saturation in there, different flavors of saturation. Uh, it, true stereo mode, uh, MS, true MS om, uh, omni dual mode, very, very cool. Yeah. I, I, I like it because it looks, I haven't tried it, I've only heard the demos. James will be trying this very soon because he's already bought it. It looks like the sort of plugin that can be as uh, comprehensive as you want it to be or as simple as you want it to be. And that's always a winner for me. So yeah, great. So that's both of our second sorry, ones. Sorry done. about that. That's uh, we plan these things, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, uh, you, third one okay. as well. Um, a little bit off piste, but still totally relevant. Uh, I went. I ventured into the, the dark and bad lands of guitars, amps, and drums. Uh, oh. What they've done this year at NAMM is we, um, Pro Audio and kind of live sound 
microphones and stuff. We have our own building. They put us quietly out of the way. I say quietly. It's not too far <laughs> a walk. It's not a million miles like it is at Mesa. But we have our own our own building. It's a sizable chunk of real estate. Um, but to venture over to Hall D yeah. and down to Hall A is now quite a walk. Yeah. So I ended up over there about as far as you can go to see the guys from Dark Glass who make... Um, Guitar, guitar and bass effects. In fact, no, they make bass effects, no guitar. Uh, and they do a thing called the Alpha Omega Ultra pedal. Now, it's a bass DI with uploadable speaker emulation. Ooh, uh, that sounds interesting. It's a yeah. USB connection to your PC or Mac, and it's a, basically a switch where you can kick in or kick out the speaker emulation. Now, you often think um, speaker emulation for bass, uh-uh, but it works. It sounds very, very awesome. Uh, again, prices to be confirmed. Availability in the next couple of months. I will get one for review. Uh, it sounded great in headphones. I'm pretty sure it'll sound great on the monitors as well. Nice. But yeah, definitely worth checking out. We'll put the links down there. Okay, my third and final for the day. In fact, my final for this year because I'm, flying, off, yeah. I'm flying back tomorrow. So James, you're on your own tomorrow. Um, Adam Audio, uh, the new T-Series, the affordable Adam range. Right. Yeah. Because we were at the launch of the, the S, S series. Yeah, which is their flagship. And we really like them. We really like them. There's one in particular, I can't remember which one that we really like. You like the vertical, I like the horizontal. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can't remember exactly yeah. what the name but yeah. they, they were very, very, very nice. Uh, T series T5V uh, and the T7V. 400 quid for the five, for the pair. Five, sorry, dollars. $500 for the seven. Nice. That is KRK territory. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and, and and they've actually put some of the stuff from the S uh, S series S range into this. So you're getting that beautiful art tweeter. Uh, nice. It's called a UART. It's slightly different, but they are forwarding me a pair very soon to uh, test because I'm an Adams man. I've been using my Adams P22As for oh, over ten years, and I love the sound. So yeah. I'm looking forward to this new generation of Adams monitors where anyone can now get involved and uh, buy into them from the affordable right up to the ridiculously the sublime, yeah. <laughs> expensive stuff. But yeah, it's great. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. So that's the end of day the three. That's it. Um, Usual. Thank you for coming, mate. It's been a, it's been a blast. Till next year. Um, I'll see you back in London, though. Yeah, we yeah. live all of about <laughs> eight miles from each yeah. other, so work that one out. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with... Uh, I might do four or five just to make up the numbers but uh, we'll be back tomorrow or I'll be back tomorrow with uh, my review of the final day of NAM 2018 in Anaheim California so my name's James Ivey I'm Dan Cooper and we'll see you tomorrow for see more NAM action bye bye, bye.